Simmers, how's it going? Lady Play Sims here. And this week's video is going to be, well, a little thank you to all my wonderful subscribers. I know at the moment there's only 29 of you, but I am very proud of every one of those subs because I know that you have thought I am worth subbing to. And I try my hardest to get subs every week and you've not failed me. I've only been doing Lady Sims for a little while, about a year. But I am going to be really promoting this now and I will be bringing you at least one video once a week. Talk of the videos. Today I bring you a new mod. This new mod is called the Mac Command Center. That nearly everybody that in the community of The Sims are talking about this mod. Like the Sims community, the Sims, the Sims 4 community on Facebook, the Sims Adults on Facebook, uh, Sim Addict. Um, Addicts Anonymous on Facebook and all those other super fans of Sims and of course not forgetting my Sims Facebook plugger 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 plug Facebook uh, friendship it's called The Sims Game 1 to 4 and beyond link below to that plugger 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 plug but uh, yeah that's only got 5 members right now but hey ho, from small acorns come great oaks. So, anyway, let's look into this mod. Okay, so the link to this is going to be in the doobly do below, where you will be able to add it to your game. And I will show you now how exactly to do that. Right, okay, so. What you need to do is to download all of it here. Now, there is a command where you can completely control everything in your game, or there's just a special one for Wahoo. Because who doesn't need to be able to control their Wahoo? But today we're going to put in all the modules. So, what do you need to do to do that is come to the site download and put it into your sims folder into your mods sims folder if you do not know how to make a mods folder please look up on youtube uh, there are plenty of awesome videos out there on how to do it i should really do it really but uh, like i say there are awesome people out there like the sim supply that can do it uh, way better than i can without tripping over their words what you need to do is save it to your mods file. Once it's finished downloading, you need to go to said folder. And as you'll see, it comes up here. Now you need to unzip that folder by WinZip or 7-Zip as I've got here. And then you say extract, uh, extract files. Yeah, it's here. What you need to do is zip, extract here, and it should extract everything that you need right here. And that's all you need to do, because unscripting anything else will, it, it just basically won't like it. Oh yeah, see? It should look like so. So then let's put also put it should have put all of them in. It says all mods. Go back to your mods and you'll see that the Wahoo one is there. And do exactly the same. Zip extract here. And that's all you do. So don't, I repeat, do not unzip these because it will mess your game up. So let's see what you can do with these wonderful mods in your game. Oh 
Okay, so you start up your game. It, if you've not updated it um, this week, because it March 24th ending, it will need updating. But then it'll tell you that before it starts the game anyway. Top tip, pro tip. Um, always make sure your game is updated. But like I say, I love all my subs. You're all wonderful and all fantastic. And all my other subs on my other channel. Huge plug. Um, I think there's over 300 of you on there. But nevertheless, I love every single one of you. And I know after six years... I think it's about time I started fighting back and hopefully get a few more subs. Links to everything from me online is below, including fan fiction. Um, yes, but we won't go into that. Um, it is um, 18 plus. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, Sim. That'll do. <laughs> Oh, this is very interesting when you've put the mod in it will show you that the mod is there let me close that um, let's give you a computer you've all got a computer no right okay let's quickly give you a computer Right, okay, so what you need to do is take your sim to a computer and you will see by clicking on the computer it will show you the Mac command center and then it will show you auto, oh look, auto save, relationship settings, notifications, money settings, it will show you the lot, CAS, I don't think you can do it in that. And it basically it means you'll never need another mod ever again. You can control everything from this. So yeah, that is this mod from the Mac Commander Center by the guy who known as Deadpool. Korea. Feel Korea teen adult employment range. See, it's amazing what this will do. He's doing his video school at the moment. But, uh, yes. This will help you do the anything and everything you possibly ever wanted to do in The Sims 4. Uh -oh. and there you go. Thanks for watching. Next week I promise there will be a speed build video. Okay, so as you can see, the mod is wonderful and amazing and fantastic and it'll help you out with everything and anything you ever need to know about <laughs> this game. <laughs> Thanks for watching and next week I will be bringing you a speed build. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe.